Shalom. Today we will finish the lesson for read and learn for Psalm 27, Mizmor Kaf Zion. Lule he'emanti lirot betuv Yehovah be'eretz chayim. Lule is a word that is made up of two parts. Lu means if. This part is actually lo, and it means not. Together, if I had not, if I did not. This he is for the he feel conjugation. The root you recognize is amen. It means in this binyan to believe. The t suffix is the past tense for I. The lamid is to, in this case for the infinitive. To do something. This root is resh aleph he to see. Verbs that end in he in the infinitive, the he becomes a tab. So we have lir ot to see. The bet is a preposition that is frequently used for verbs of looking or seeing. Tuv is tov is goodness. Yud he vav he bet in eretz land. Chaim is life living. If I did not believe that I would see the goodness of Yehovah in the land of the living. The translation for this is a bit difficult because there is no then. If I had not, then what? So many times we see a translation, I surely believe, I would have lost heart, all in italics because it's not there, unless I had believed. Where would I be if I did not believe? Lule he'emanti lirot betu Yehova be'eretz chayim. Kave el Yehova Chazak ve Mats Libecha ve Kave el Yehova. The root kava means to wait. It's a very interesting word. I suggest you look at the video about it. El usually means to. Here it's translated as on. Yud he vav he. Chazak means to be strong. The vav is an. The yud is he will do something. Amatz is to be strong, to be strengthened. Lev is heart. The final kaf is your. Vav is an. Kava is wait. El is on Yehovah. Wait on Yehovah. Be strong. He will strengthen your heart. Wait on Yehovah. Kave el Yehovah. Chazak via Ametz libecha. Vekave el Yehovah. If there's another piece of scripture that you would like to study, please make a note in the comments below. Shalom.